My favorite animal is the star-nosed mole. And what I love about this animal is that it has these two giant front paws that look like catcher's mitts. And it has very, very squinty little eyes. It's about uh, the size of a baked potato, so it fits very neatly in the palm of your hand. Uh, but what really catches people's imaginations is the uh, nose itself. It looks like a sea anemone, uh, it looks like a starfish. Uh, the New York Times described it as raw hamburger being put through a, um, a meat grinder. It does uh, a couple of things that are very amazing. Most people think it uses that sea anemone thing on its nose as a way to smell the world, <laughs> which uh, they've discovered is not the case. It actually is this uh, touch sensing organ. The other really cool thing about it is recently it's been shown that it's the only mammal to actually be able to smell underwater. And what it does is it sends out in um, these bubbles and inhales um, at just lightning speeds. The bubbles catch um, uh, odor molecules underwater and as the animal inhales, uh, it is able to sense food um, in its environment underwater. Most people look at the adaptations that organisms make to their environment as an opportunity for um, getting inspiration to solve their own problems. I think sometimes what we forget is that a lot of these organisms provide us with opportunities for wonder that's just as important as solving some of our critical challenges. So yeah, can we learn some amazing things from the sensory apparatus of the star-nosed mole's nose? Uh, probably or undoubtedly, but at the same time, the fact that this tiny potato-sized animal has developed this extraordinary way of navigating its world is just a cause for wonder and a cause for celebration. And it's worth it just for that. <laughs>